For a normal car, there isn't much to a door. You pull the handle, and it opens. You get in. You close the door. Maybe your car comes with keyless entry, soft closed doors, or retractable handles. But beyond that, they all work pretty much the same. When you spend a little more money on something exotic though, do you really want normal doors? Of course not. In this video, we are going to show you top 10 craziest car doors in the world. Before we start the video, please like and subscribe to our channel for future updates. Let's start the video. Number 1. Koenigsegg's Dihedral Synchrolix Actuation Doors Sports cars typically have large doors to help with ingress and egress. Large doors mean plenty of space is needed to open them without hitting another car. Scissor doors open high and can be difficult to reach when the occupant is seated. Koenigsegg's Dihedral Synchro Helix Door Mechanism was revolutionary when it was first conceived, and it remains unique in the automotive industry to this day. The door motion allowed by this hinge mechanism, sweeping outwards and upwards at the same time, is every bit as practical as it is beautiful. Number 2. Cadillac Seal The day that some bright spark decided to hinge from the rear, rather than the front was a groundbreaking one in door world. Since first being fitted onto horse-drawn carts, reverse hinging doors have since become a symbol of automotive elegance and luxury. The French-style doors with nickel-plated paintwork accentuate the seal's sweeping lines and an interior that features olive wood, machined aluminium, and cashmere blankets for the rear passengers. Super Lux defined. Number 3. Autosum AZ1 Key cars are cool, tiny of proportion and even tinier of engine. They buzz around Tokyo like micro-machines. But as Mazda proved in the early 90s, there's one way to make a Kijidosha car even cooler, gullwing doors. Say hello to the Autosum AZ1, a gullwing's mid-engined, rear-wheel drive city car only 4,300 were ever built. Believe it or not, there was even a go-faster Mazda SB variant, making it one of the rarest and oddly performance-oriented key cars ever. Number 4. Aston Martin Rapide Aston Martin proves doors don't need to be mega flashy to have the wow factor. Sometimes, simplicity is key. See, all modern Astons are fitted with swan doors. They're basically normal doors, but mounted on a squiffy axis that's tilted up slightly to improve ground clearance. True, that's rather sober in this drunken world of scissor and butterfly doors, but they're practical. When you roll up in your DB9, V12 Vantage, or Rapid, and try to get out, you won't have to listen to the haunting scrape of the bottom of the door kissing the curb. A good thing. Number 5. Ford GT There is, so far as we can tell, no official name for the Ford GT's doors, so we're going to christen them guillotine doors. They take inspiration from the racing GT40s of the 60s and incorporate the roof into the top of the door. This was to ease access while switching drivers at Le Mans to allow two racers to do the switcheroo in double quick time while mechanics could lean over and belt them in unobstructed. Number 6. Yo Auto Yo Concept Concept cars offer designers the flexibility and freedom to go absolutely crazy with door construction. But when you add the magical madness of Russia into the mix, you get one hell of a cocktail. Shown at the Frankfurt Auto Show in 2011, this range-extending hybrid boasted baffling doors that left many wondering exactly which tablets its designer had consumed for breakfast. As you can see here, they slide and twist backwards out of the car to then protrude from the rear. Great for access, though less so if you've backed up directly against a wall. Number 7. McLaren P1 The P1 gives a strong showing against its sworn enemy, Ferrari's Ferrari La Ferrari, in the crucial hybrid hypercar door battle. Butterfly doors? Check. Exposed carbon tub when opened? Check. So why does the P1 edge this category? Because simply, when its doors are aloft along with a monstrous hydraulic rear wing, the P1 stops looking like a car and appears to take the form of an Optimus Prime adversary freeze-framed mid-transformation, which is exactly what Ron Dennis would have wanted. Number 8. Lamborghini Aventador LP 754 SV Everything about the Aventador is pointy, its styling, its steering, and the name given to its trademark doors. Yes, 
It's sent a Gaddis famous scissor door party piece, present on every V12 Lambo since the Countach. Bonus Geek Fact The Aventador is the first flagship Lambo to employ pillarless doors, which is why the doors swing out from the bodice shell a tad further than the Murcielagos, so as to clear the roof seals. Probably not coming to a top trumps pack near you, that nugget? Number 9. Puget EX1 Concept You know the obvious problem with car doors, don't you? Once you've gone to the effort of tugging the handle and actually opening the thing, you've still got to climb into the car to get seated. It's an utter faff. Puget attempted to solve this chore with 2010's three-wheeled EX1 Concept by nailing the bucket seats to the doors themselves. Simply open the door and flop straight into the seat as it glides out to meet you. Number 10. Mercedes-Benz 300 SO There's only one car in this list that can be identified by a nickname purely derived from its doors. This is it, the Gullwing. See the SL's space frame chassis ate up space in its sill structure, and the turret-like glasshouse was unusually shallow. With little space to mount a conventional door, those ever-pragmatic Germans simply plonked the door hinges on the roof and headed to the local workshops. Little did they know they'd created one of the car world's most iconic, exotic styling signatures. That's it for today. We hope you found our video interesting. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and share it with others. Also, if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to our channel. Don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of our new uploads. In the end, thanks for watching and see you next time.